Quinn Sejus. Faith Solutions are being introduced to a fresh perspective on the Word of God as the organization United in Christ embarks on a transformative pilgrimage across the island. This initiative aims to enlighten the community about the profound connection between the African and Caribbean heritage and biblical teachings. Officer of AT passionately appeals to locals emphasizing the organization's mission to awaken and empower Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Here is Obi Offer with more details in this report. Israel United in Christ appeals to St. Lucians in their singular mission to wake up the 12 tribes of Israel. The organization, founded in 2003, is dedicated to waking up the 144,000 elected men from the lost 12 tribes of Israel, also known as the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This group, united by gospel and word of God, seeks to inspire hearts and reveal the closely tied union of Black heritage and scripture. Officer of AT, Mendel Israel, a representative from the Israel United in Christ, implores St. Lucians to take action and view the Book of God through a different perspective. I would challenge anyone to show us where the Bible says for us that Sunday is the Sabbath. You understand that? So those are things that make us unique because, uh, let me, I want to get First Peter 4.11 to show you what the scriptures say. So, and this is uh, one thing that we do. So this is uh, the book of First Peter, chapter 4, verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do as of his, uh, the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So meaning that if we go out and we teach the people, we have to be able to go to the scriptures and show them that that's what the scriptures say. I can't tell you to celebrate Christmas. And then if somebody asks me, well, where is that in the Bible that Jesus Christ was born on December the 25th and that we got to set up a tree in the living room and give gifts? Officer Israel highlights the synergy of scripture and current ills and challenges that plague both the African-American and Afro-Caribbean people, such as slavery trauma. This is verse 15. It says, And it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So now I'm just going to give you three curses. There's we can read from 16 all the way down to 68, but I'm going to get three key curses. So verse 32 says, one of the uh, indicators for the people to recognize who the Israelites are today, verse 32, it says, uh, Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there will be no might in thine hand. So one of the curses that God uh, told the Israelites what happened to them is that their sons and daughters would be sold to another people. So we know that that happened in America. We know that that happened in St. Lucia. It happened all throughout the Caribbean, um, South America. All Matter of fact, we had some of our people shipped to China to build the Great Wall of China over there. The officer of AT outlines that this initiative is not meant to indoctrinate or force anyone to convert or believe as was written in the scripture. No matter if you believe or not, because our people way back then didn't believe what Moses told them. Hey, if you break God's commandments, you're going to be going into slavery on ships. They didn't believe it. So now we expect that a lot of our, it's going to be a lot of our people that don't believe. But I'm going to keep reading right here. It says, uh, it says, I'm going to read verse 3 again. It says, for what if some don't believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mayest be justified in thou sayings, and that and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So we're going to be justified in what we're saying because we're going to stand on the word of God. So if they don't want to believe the word of God, that's their problem. For any individual interested in the teachings and wisdom of Israel United in Christ, the organization is accessible through various means, such as the website israelunite.org and the YouTube channel IUIC in the classroom. For Choice News Now, this is Obi Offer reporting. 
Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre has pledged the implementation of crop insurance to assist farmers. This announcement comes